Good evening, friends. Stephen Vernoon here with Israeli News Live. And I wanted to share with you real quick before we get into the news, which we're going to be covering some very serious issues in the news here, things that are happening over uh, in the Middle East. But those of you that know our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org, scroll down to the opinion section there. This letter right here, it really should go viral. You're welcome to post it anywhere you possibly can. Open letter to the five docs. Maybe it wasn't the best choice of titles, but you're going to get the first glimpse. We've, we've shared some glimpses, but even Yana is coming out this Sunday, and she's going to be doing a special broadcast with me about what's going on. Also, Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern, a Zoom meeting. This is for doctors and nurses only. You have to identify yourself. It'll be at stephenbenoon.com, www.stephenbenoon.com. Preferably, if you can email us at benoon, B-E-N-N-U-N-X-3-9 at gmail.com. Let us know you'd like to attend that Zoom meeting there. It's going to be uh, myself, my wife. Uh, we'll be having other doctors already coming on board that are going to be talking about what happened to Yana's father, going into the medical seriousness of it. Uh, we'll be discussing also Dr. Schultz's results in the autopsy that he did. Very, very uh, serious information, and we want to share that with you. But all, don't forget, here on Israeli News Live, open letter to the five docs. You want to check that letter out. It's very important there. So definitely take a look at that. Uh, when we get to near the end of this broadcast, I want to share a couple of videos, too, that myself and my wife did recently that you want to, just want to bring that to your memory there. Right now, breaking Israel launches 14 raids on several villages in southern Lebanon. Uh, thanks, to, thanks to Charles Hodge there that shared this here with us here. Check out, by the way, Charles Hodge on his uh, Twitter channel there. You can check him out right here. Uh, and uh, always has a lot of really, really good information there. So definitely check out his work. Uh, and then again, another one that Charles shared, Republican Andy Ogles introduced H.R. 8321, the Anti-Semitism Community Service Act. Uh, he is, requires campus protector, protesters convicted of, he calls it, unlawful activity beginning on October the 7th, 2023, to do at least six months of community service in Gaza. I would like to reverse that. I think those politicians and all those people that are running around making this big issue out of, uh, out of Israel being the victim here and not paying attention to some 20,000 dead children, those are the ones that need to be doing community service in Gaza so you can just see exactly what's going on. And then also tell me, how do you escape all the bombs? If you can survive it. Maybe that's a 30-day sentence that needs to be carried out of community service. So, I don't agree with Mr. Ogles on his idea, but reversing it is not a bad idea. I'm sure those that you would arrest would be glad to serve over in Gaza. But then again, what is that for? To target them? Take them out? You consider them Hamas as well? Don't forget who funded Hamas, Mr. Ogles. Hamas was funded by none other than Netanyahu. Keep that in mind, please, while you're doing this. Let's take a look at Al Jazeera here talking about uh, Ben Gavir and, and Smotrich here, at least Ben Gavir. Anyway, let's listen to see what they have to say there. ...to permanently expel Palestinians from the Strip, fears are growing of yet another forced population transfer. People in Power investigates. Kind of interesting who they're showing you who are the ones that are in power, right? I would let that one sink in a little deeper. We should create a humanitarian problem that will force Egypt and Turkey and Europe to absorb the Arabs as uh, uh, refugees. The purpose of the Zionist project was the erasure of the Palestinian people. The methodology was mostly expulsion. 
intimidation and massacres. No, what he can and needs to develop is a plan of action, a plan of action, of course, that will allow them to go. Well, we are going to go to the ground and we will return to it. We want to see the rain. Ya Allah, Ya Allah. يا الله. Since October 7th, 2023, about 2 million Palestinians in the Gaza Strip have had to flee for their lives to escape death and destruction, which has followed them even in areas they've been told are safe zones. That has gone back and forth, back and forth, over and over and over. There is no safe zone. And it almost seems as if Israel does these things intentionally to wear the people down, to, want, to make them want to leave and go to the Sinai. Anything would seem better than being brutally attacked and massacred and slaughtered in their own country. Yeah, and I say, that's their own country. They were there thousands of years before the so-called European Jewry came there. And I come from the European Jewry. I have no bones to pick about it. I'll say it just like it is. Uh, I was a very pro-Zionist at one time. But to see such in, in unimaginable atrocities done on a people that should, that should not be happening to, that tells me, one, that shows me that both Christians and Jews alike pay no attention to the words of Moses. Moses told you not to oppress the people when you came into the land, but you don't even care what he says. I'm going to do a special message on that just to show you what he did teach about it. Maybe then, maybe then you'll consider, or maybe you'll consider the words of Jesus. I have no idea. Don't know which one. Who knows? Probably doubtfully none of them. Anyway, going back again, don't forget, open letter to the five docs, Israeli News Live, letter I wrote there, really goes into some interesting information there, including when Kerry was interviewed by Dr. Northrup. And in that video right there, um, she gives her formula for five to six mils of peroxide IV and then comes to our house and gives 21 mils. Some people say, oh, that's a typographical error. Well, even Sherry Timpany, Dr. Timpany said the same thing. And then I showed her her second text to my wife, totally separately, written in one in longhand, one in a shorthand, like a, one's abbreviated, the, one's, the other one's not abbreviated. Clearly 21 mils in both of them. Food grade 3% hydrogen peroxide to be injected intravenously four times, almost five times the dosage of that, of what um, she said with Dr. Uh, Christiane Northrup on the interview two months prior coming to my house. So you think about that, right? And then, of course, we also share some of the thoughts here. Uh, from the uh, from the airplane crash she was in, falsely claiming the 911 responders demanded her, you know, status there. You see the words on there. Uh, that never happened. We actually, my wife went there and spoke to the director, got a copy of the transcript, as well as the 911 operators that nearly lost their jobs from being falsely accused. We also talked to the pilot of the plane and was invited out to his home to discover as well from him that her story was totally fabricated and false. She even said to him at one point, as we were talking to him about it, she comes over to his house and says, we've got to get our story straight because we're about to go public. Well, he refused to lie. So she went public on her own without him. Listen to those two different clips there. I think you'll find them interesting. Uh, also, my wife here, don't forget about, uh, if you go to our playlist on Israeli News Live YouTube there, uh, that playlist there will show you, uh, especially when we're talking about, uh, well, you got Bible truths about women. Uh, this one here that I had open was about the those laws there that uh, they, they attribute to Noah, called the Noahide Laws. Where the heck is that at there? Uh, hmm. I don't know what I did with them. They were here just a second ago. Let me refresh that page. Okay. Playlist. Uh, oh, okay. I see. Here we go. Exposing Noahide loss. 
you click on that playlist and as we do new videos I upload them on there if you scroll down to the blast one there the one that was done Lots live so for you for you I put that one in there we've got 20,000 views on that right now 432 comments by the way your comments on the article on our website Israeli News Live this one open letter to the five docs your comments my wife would greatly appreciate too so please uh, let her know what your thoughts are on this uh, and then two uh, that's the same thing there uh, same video anyway thank you for your support thank you for supporting our broadcast and and you can always support us too because your support is very much needed right now right here on our website Israeli News Live many different ways to support you can just donate there online our mailing address as well as available if you're interested in the LifeWave side of products that's available EMP Shield we thank you very kindly and thank you for your support. God bless you. We love you and have a great night tomorrow. This fact this weekend is going to be filled with information. Don't forget to Sunday, 6 p.m., www.stephenbenoon.com. It's a special private invitation only for doctors and nurses, people in the medical profession. It didn't have to be specifically like that, but you would need to email, email us at benoonx39, B-E-N-N-U-N-X-39, that you want to attend. My wife will be going into details of things that have happened, uh, at least part one of this uh, information so you're welcome to come I'll put in the description of this video how you can join that and then tomorrow I got some very interesting teachings to share with you you're gonna be looking at Psalms 23 Wow what does it mean to walk through the valley of the shadow of death I bet everybody has an idea but I'm gonna show you something that you didn't know about it God bless you love y'all have a great night